Hey guys and girls, my name is Ellen and welcome to today's gameplay commentary. Once again, I've got some Fortnite Battle Royale footage for you to enjoy. Specifically, last week's LTM, I think by the time this video goes live, it would have been rotated out, but I'm not too sure because obviously, I don't, well, I can't predict the future. But uh, this is last week's LTM, and basically it's called Final Fight, and it's a twist on Teams of 20. If you didn't play it, it was kind of fun, kind of interesting. Um, I kind of wish that the, the final countdown time was a little bit longer. I feel like 60 seconds wasn't enough. However, well, I mean, I suppose I should start with um, what the 60 seconds is all about. So, play the game as normal, you get to the final circle, and then instead of it shrinking, as you can see on the screen now, that's the, that's the size of the final circle. Eventually, the storm will close in on that circle, and then you'll get a couple of minutes to, to kill enemy players, and then at the very end, there'll be a countdown timer of 60 seconds. And once that timer's finished, the team with the most players surviving that's alive, whether it's down or whatever, but alive in the game, not eliminated, will win the match. And as I said, it's a variant of Teams of 20, so you start off with five buses, just like you would in Teams of 20, and five different teams. And um, sometimes you get lucky with the circle, sometimes you don't. But I, I think they give you enough time to get to the circle. It's just a case of, obviously, once you're in the circle, I think there should be a bit more time to allow you to hunt enemy players down. Because getting to the circle bit is kind of fast, and then they don't give you too much time to sort of find enemy players. I guess it means that you should be a little bit more aggressive, but it would be nice to just be able to hunt players at your own pace, um, rather than obviously just having to rush around just because the clock's ticking. Right, so... In today's video, there are three games which I've recorded using the PS4 um, because I was streaming at the time and basically the PS4 actually records at a higher bitrate than my stream. So I thought it'd be better to use footage from the PS4 and I think you'll, you'll see that straight away just by watching it. It is only in 720 because that's what the PS4 records in, but it is at a higher bitrate than what I stream in. So obviously the quality of the footage I think is a little bit better. Just like in a lot of my previous videos, I've used more than one piece of gameplay for this video. So it's three matches in total, condensed, cut out all the boring bits left in all the action, obviously, for you to enjoy. And I think that's about it for the game mode. I'm not too sure if there's anything else I need to talk about. Um, no, the teams, the circle, the countdown. Uh, loot's obviously been improved. They've done that over the past couple of LTMs. Uh, so there's enough to go around for everyone. I think the harvesting is also slightly increased compared to normal squad games. Given the amount of time you've got to get to the final circle, and then of course you'll be killing enemies or looting enemies on the way. I don't think loot was much of an issue in this game mode. I'm glad to say that they've sort of adjusted that compared to as the previous LTMs. Right, so moving on to this week's LTM. So Epic Games did tease the new LTM on a splash screen message during the weekend, and it is of course Playgrounds, or, or Playground Mode, or whatever you want to call it. And basically last night they confirmed that it will be coming in tomorrow's update, or rather today's update by the time this video goes up. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. I'm not too sure how it works yet, but from, from my understanding of reading uh, past notes and things like that, it will be a private server you and friends can jump into. So I think it's the same number of players that you would normally in a squad, so maximum four. But you've got the entire map to play around with. I don't know if there's any sort of countdown, like I don't know if you've still got to put up with the storm and stuff, or if you can just land wherever you want and just play for as long as you want, and then obviously when you quit the game, uh, that server's closed and obviously you start a new one or whatever. I don't know how that's going to work for them. I mean, if there are normally 100 players in one server, and now they're saying that you've got four players in one server, that's a lot of servers um, and a lot of games being hosted at the same time. It's obviously going to tax the system. I foresee a lot of crashes, a lot of um, maintenance being done to improve this over the over the course of the week for the LTM. And I think they'll probably keep the LTM up for maybe over a week because, as I said, I predict that there will be delays and I think there will be problems because of the scale of what they're trying to do. I mean, fair play to them for trying to implement it. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Uh, me and my friends have already talked about the things that we're, we're you know, looking to do. Um, practicing build fights, practicing sniping from range, moving targets, just practicing in general of everything. I think that's what the Playground LTM is, is designed for. If you're new to the game still, obviously, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, to learn these days because everyone is, well, most people are pretty decent at the game at this point. Whereas when we first started playing, well, I remember when I first started playing back in October, uh, hardly anybody was building, so you didn't have to worry about trying to get the high ground. You didn't need to worry about covering yourself from enemy fire. Uh, but these days, everybody builds. Like, you, you fire a single shot, bang, someone's got a one-by-one. -one. Um, if it's, if you're in a squad, then there's several one-by-ones, or if you've got, like, a massive tower or something like that. So it's, it's definitely going to be interesting um, to, to mess around with and just to, to explore the map. And there are places that you don't really go to uh, because, you know, maybe the storm doesn't go there. Maybe it's not a really good landing point. This will give you the opportunity to just explore and just check out all the surrounding areas um, and just maybe learn where the chest locations are. I mean, again, they haven't really talked about what's going to be in the match. They don't tell you. I mean, they haven't said what's going to spawn in or what isn't going to spawn in. But I assume it's just going to be like a normal match. Um, hopefully the storm doesn't close in. Uh, and then obviously you just got the time to explore and mess around and, and do what you want to do and practice your building. That's, that's an 
another thing that's going to be kind of cool to do. I mean, my building's okay, but I, I struggle when I'm under pressure. I don't really like getting into build fights. That's definitely something I need to work on, um, and hopefully over the course of the week or so, I'll be able to get a little bit better at doing that. And of course, if you hadn't heard, friendly fire is turned on, so that's what's going to help you to, to practice your shooting and stuff. I don't think sticky aim is going to be available, obviously, because you're, you're shooting teammates rather than enemy players, unless it's a squad of like free for all so you're on the same team but you're not actually in a team if you follow what I mean so maybe that maybe the sticky aim is applied then I don't know maybe it's four enemies in a single squad I believe that the LTM will go live with the update and the update in the UK is normally quite early in the morning like 8 a.m. something like that by the time this video goes live by the time the LTM goes live unfortunately I will still be at work I won't actually get to play it until I get home assuming of course everything is working by the time I get home as I said a little bit earlier, I predict that there will be like maintenance and down periods just because of the scale of the thing that they're trying to achieve. Um, but who knows, maybe they've managed to sort other stuff out. I mean, they've had a lot of time to prepare for this. I mentioned this LCM a very long time ago and now they've decided to launch it. So maybe they are prepared for it, I don't know. But uh, I just, I feel like it's a big challenge and a big task that they're trying to overcome. And as I said, fair play for them to give it a crack because a lot of companies would struggle with this. Um, however, they are making some serious money, so maybe they have the resources and the capability of funding a project like this. If you haven't heard, there's a bit of news that was floating around earlier today, and apparently Fortnite made $300 plus million in the month of May alone across all platforms. So as I was talking about in a previous video, they are making some serious bank. So maybe they have got as the money and the resources to do this. Either way, as I said earlier, I'm just looking forward to trying it out. It does seem like a really cool concept and uh, just gives you the opportunity to explore and practice. And again, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, me and my friends have already been talking about the stuff that we could potentially do, as well as the practice stuff, you know, we just want to have a bit of fun, explore the map, maybe build some cool structures. If we do end up doing anything really interesting or really funny or really cool, I will of course try and post it to the channel. And don't forget that shopping carts also by this time should also be re-enabled, so maybe you guys and girls can build some really cool ramps and maybe we'll try it ourselves. Um, and just mess around with the, the stuff that's available. Like, we don't always use the weapons that we find because obviously you, know, you stick with the best stuff. This obviously gives you the chance to just mess around with the stuff that you don't use as often. And of course, rocket riding. I mean, me and my, we, we've done it in the past a couple of times, but we're not that proficient at it. I'm terrible at sending people um, and I'm kind of not that great at jumping onto rockets either. So this is going to be an opportunity to just mess around, play with those and just try and get it down pat because while you don't do that often in, in the games that you play, it is something cool to try and it's just something fun to try and get like a decent kill, you know, using a rocket ride or something like that. I genuinely think it'll be a good LTM. Obviously time will tell, but I think it's going to be it's going to be good for everyone. Um, whether you're seasoned, obviously you can just mess around, or if you're a beginner, you can just practice. Uh, so I think it's a good call to have something like this. And uh, some people are saying that they should make it permanent, but obviously we haven't played the LTM yet, so we don't actually know how good or bad it's going to be. Uh, we just have to wait and see. And maybe they will make it permanent, or maybe they'll rotate it in often. I mean, they do that quite a lot with the LTMs these days, right? So even though the LTM disappears, a couple of weeks comes back again. So maybe they'll just put it onto, into the rotation with the rest of the LTMs. Uh, again, we'll just have to wait and see what they decide to do for the future. There is also another LTM that Epic have sort of teased a little bit over the past couple of weeks and that is a game mode with either reduced building capabilities or no building capabilities at all. I think it's called Battle on the Ground or something like that. And I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. I do think it would make for an interesting change of pace playing this game without the ability to build. But again, I think I talked about it in the previous video, how would that work then in terms of reaching high places for loot, getting up mountains, getting down from mountains safely. Um, I mean, obviously there's, there's a few restrictions they could put in place, but in terms of the general traversal of the map and stuff, they, they need to do it so that it doesn't impact that. Obviously, the gameplay would change dramatically. But not being able to build cover when you're under a firefight and just relying on like the environment around you, so rocks, trees, buildings, um, I think it would make for an interesting play. Whether or not it will work very well, who knows. But um, yeah, that's something to look forward to for the future. But of course, let's just worry about this playground LTM to start off with. Have fun with that and then we go from there. Over the past couple of weeks, there have been one or two new additions to the game. Now, I've already talked about the assault rifle that was added, the thermal scope rifle. That I did put a gameplay on the channel. I'll link that on the screen now. I'll also link it in the description below so you can check out footage of me using said weapon. They've also recently added the stink bomb. Now, unfortunately, I haven't really got any footage of the stink bomb. I've used it once or twice. It's really, really cool, actually. I think it's a really novel piece of equipment. If you haven't yet heard of it or you haven't experienced it for yourself in the game, the best way to describe it is sort of like a gas grenade. So you throw it at an area and then a plume of gas will explode from the grenade and it penetrates surfaces as well. So let's say an enemy boxes themselves into like a one by one. Instead of you having to shoot the structure to get into there, you can throw a gas grenade or the stink bomb behind them on top of them or whatever. And then if they don't leave that one by one of their own accord, they would eventually succumb to the gas and die because I think it does like 10 damage per second or something like that. Obviously, if you've got several gas bombs, you can throw it all around the box, and if they don't run away in time, they will die that way as well. It's good for forcing enemies out of cover, squads out of structures that they've built. 
I mean, on some levels, it's kind of novel more than anything. You're not likely to get a kill with it. It's not impossible to get a kill, but it's, it's not as easy as a normal grenade, which obviously will do a lot more damage. You've sort of got to wait for the time to tick by. An experienced player will always run away from the gas. Uh, it's also worth noting as well if you didn't realize that friendly fire is enabled with those gas grenades. So if you throw it close and you run into that gas cloud, you will take damage as well. I've done that once or twice, but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes you throw it to get the enemies at the same time. The next new addition to the game is not technically part of the game. It's basically a free skin for PlayStation Plus owners. And just like the previous one, this one is sort of in the same sort of colors of PlayStation. So the, the first skin was a female, blue hat, white shirt. This skin is a, a male with kind of cool actually. He's, he's wearing a headset which kind of looks like the PlayStation VR. Um, unfortunately, I haven't shown any footage of him on the channel yet, but I do have some live gameplay on my Twitch stream if you want to check it out. I have used it a couple of times, but I don't know, I'm kind of, I, I like using the default skin. Like some of my friends kind of, they, they, they want me to use this skin, but I, I'm not bothered about it. I keep saying that I don't really care about cosmetics and using the same skin over and over and over again, kind of a bit boring for me. So I like to just go default, it'll pick a different gender, it'll pick a different you know, character for me. It's not a big issue for me to be honest with you. It's kind of cool of Sony to be, I mean, I'm, I guess they're arranging this deal with Epic and I wonder why other companies haven't done the same. Like I assume Microsoft would be throwing money to get a Microsoft exclusive skin, Nintendo possibly in due course. Um, obviously it's only just come out on the Switch so it's not a massive thing at the moment. But I don't know, I just think that having an exclusive skin for your console is kind of cool. And um, I'd say credit to Sony for managing to secure the deal. Right, so on Saturday I did post another video of me reviewing E3 2018. Believe it or not, I am still watching the footage for E3. And the reason why is because I've spent a lot of time on Fortnite, obviously there's been updates and I've had to record gameplay and obviously put in some hours just, just, just to get some decent gameplay in general for the channel. But the World Cup is in full swing and when you're trying to watch like three matches of football a day, obviously I don't watch all of them but I try and catch the highlights and stuff and between work as well, it just eats up a lot of my time and I can't really watch football and game or edit videos at the same time. Well, I've tried to, it just doesn't work very well. So I just want to enjoy some of the big matches, of course England play of the weekend. Unfortunately, I was at work on Sunday, but we managed to get a TV set up and uh, fortunately we were able to watch the match even though I managed to miss every single goal live. I mean, I can't make it up. There were that many goals in that game and I managed to miss every single one of them live for various reasons. I just turned away for a second, I was talking to a colleague or dealing with something and then bang, goal goes in and I had to watch the replay. It's just, it's mad, I can't believe it. Anyway, it was a good result for England. And I know it wasn't a very good team that we were facing. Panama ranked like 100 something in the world. However, you know, it's a decent win. 6-1 is a big score line. It's good though for the team and for the nation to get a good result. We get to celebrate a decent win and they get to celebrate a good performance and hopefully they carry that, you know, that mentality, that, that motivation into the next match against Belgium, which will definitely be a tougher match for damn sure. Belgium have a very good team. It's funny, but like every time England win like a game quite well, the country just goes mad. Well, not the entire country, but a lot of people just start saying like, oh yeah, we can go the distance, we can go all the way. I'm a little bit more reserved than that. I, I think we can go far. I don't know if we can win it. I mean, it'd be great if we did win it. I mean, potentially we could. We've definitely got the players. We can perform on a good day. But very, very early yet. And as I said, Panama are not a team to be bragging about beating. To go on and say that we can go on the Wind World Cup because of this, I think is a bit of a stretch and a bit premature. But hopefully a few more good games to go. I think I talked about it in a video last week or something. I'm just happy if we get out of the group stages, which we're guaranteed to do so at this point. Even if we lose tomorrow's match against Belgium, we are guaranteed to leave the group and uh, play at least one more match in the knockout stages. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to those games and I said, hopefully they're decent and hopefully I get the chance to watch them as well because unfortunately one of them I will be at work. Okay, so the gameplay is sort of drawing to an end now. I don't think there's anything else I really want to talk about. What I will say though is that it's very warm in the UK right now and uh, it's a bit of a struggle because obviously when I'm in my room, it's kind of a little bit stuffy even though I've got the windows open. I've got the PC running, I've got the TV running if I'm watching the football, I've got my PS4 running and I'm recording or streaming at the same time. That means that the equipment's working a little bit harder than it would normally do. And so the heat generated is actually really hot um, and that coupled with the warm weather anyway just makes for really uncomfortable gaming. I don't think it's a mini heat wave or anything, but it's just really warm in the UK right now. And because I've got all this equipment running, it's just very warm when I'm playing games. And obviously when you're sleeping, it's a little bit sticky as well. But anyway, I'll spare you the details. I don't think you really care about how, how much of a struggle it is in my house because it's so warm. Right, so that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. As I said, I think it was a really fun game mode. 
I just want them to extend the final fight section a little bit longer. 60 second countdown plus the two minutes, whatever it is before the circle shrinks, isn't enough time in my opinion. And as you saw in one of the two games there, if we'd have had just a little bit more time, I probably could have clinched the victory. But I guess that works both ways. Like if, you, if you're hiding because you're the last man or something, but then you still lose anyway. So I guess there's no real benefit to being the last man and, and camping it out. You sort of, I think it'd be better to have more time so you can try and sneak around the map. Maybe pick off one or two enemies at a time and then just get that win after a certain amount. Um, obviously, I don't want to go on indefinitely, but I think if they made it a little bit longer, a few extra minutes, that'd be really fun. Obviously, this is the first iteration of that game mode, and they will probably do like a version 2 at some point in the future. I will try to get another E3 review video up by the end of the week. If not, there will definitely be one on Saturday. It's just I'm a little bit busy, as I said, with the World Cup. Also, my parents are currently in the process of renovating the back garden a little bit. Uh, they're building a new patio thing. And they ordered some materials like sand, bricks, and some, some gravel. And that was all delivered and put at the front of the house. And unfortunately, there's no real easy way of bringing it all into the back garden, apart from just doing it bit by bit, like one wheelbarrow at a time. And so that's what me and my dad are currently doing. And we foresee that taking probably a week, just because obviously we're all at work. So I'm having to pop around to my parents once every few days and just give them a hand with that. And it's kind of slow going, obviously, with the heat as well. It's kind of hard work. But it does mean I do get my exercise and I'm working on a bit of a, a bit of muscle mass just by carrying all this crap from the front of the house to the back of the house. Right, so that will do it for today's video. As per usual, if you enjoyed the content, consider tapping the like button. I really do appreciate it. And as always, if you've got thoughts on the channel, if you've got anything else about today, do let me know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the final fight, LTM? I'd be interested to hear. But until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later. And now it's hard to breathe